Today, I'll be talking about the Shimano Diore 12-speed group set. It came out a year ago, however, I only got my hands on it now. So today, I'm going to take it out of the box and tell you my first impressions. But before we dive right into it, let me explain the main four Shimano mountain biking group sets, so everyone understands what I'm talking about here. The main Shimano mountain biking group set lineup goes like this. First is the XTR group set, which is the most expensive one. Then there is the XT group set. And after that comes the SLX group set. But today we will be talking about the Diora group set, which is the cheapest 12-speed group set Shimano has to offer. Now let's jump into the unboxing. First, the cranks. You can only buy them with a 30 or a 32 tooth chainring and they use Shimano's direct mounting rings. They weigh 778 grams and they are available in 170 and 175 millimeters. Next, let's take a look at the 10 to 51 tooth cassette. It is made out of steel and it's only compatible with Shimano's Micro Spline Free Hub. It weighs 593 grams. The derailleur comes in a quite compact box compared to the shifter, but more on that later. It features a clutch which can be turned on and off. The derailleur is adjusted with three screws as usual and it weighs 320 grams. Now, the shifter. And first I would like to point out how large the box is. I understand that it's the cable housing which takes up so much space. However, it could be packed a bit more compactly. The shifter has a simple barrel adjuster as usual. And the downshift lever can be pushed both ways, which in my opinion is a useful detail. And the last box are the brakes. They are designed to touch the handlebars in two spots which would prevent the brake lever from snapping. An allen key is necessary for lever reach adjustment. The front brake weighs 325 grams. About a month has passed since I filmed the unboxing. Since then, I got a new haircut and my friend Philip has built this bike with the Diore components. If you're curious about his bike and his build, be sure to check out his video. I'm going to link it up here. Now, I'm going to take the bike to one of my local trails to see how the group set feels. And then, I'm going to tell you my first impressions. So I'm climbing to the top of my local trail right now and I realized this is actually my first time riding a mullet setup. So I'm really excited. Before I tell you my first impressions, I have to admit, I only rode this bike for about 2 hours and the bike is only about 300 km old. That is why this is not a review video, but only an unboxing and a first impressions video. So how did the group set feel? In my opinion, Shimano delivered as always. The brakes were powerful and they had this classical Shimano on-off feeling. The drivetrain also worked perfectly, however my testing was very limited. While testing this group set, I could only find two flaws. Firstly, you actually have to carry a multi-tool to adjust your lever reach on your brake levers. 
This could be solved simply with a barrel adjuster. And secondly, the shifter felt a bit cheap and clunky. However, this was just a feeling because it worked perfectly. Now, I would like to thank Philip for making this video possible. Be sure to check out his Instagram. Thanks for watching and stay behind your bars. I'm sorry for not uploading any videos since February. However, I should be able to upload more often during the summer, especially during my summer holidays. So stay tuned, more videos are coming.